Welcome, everybody. Beautiful late morning here in Brisbane, Queensland. Ivan Rapchuk here with Patrick Ivans on color. We got Queensland versus WA. Should be an exciting game, Ivan. Both of these teams coming in with a two, two and one record. Should be. We'll see. Both teams coming off losses, though, late yesterday. I'm sure both will be very happy to try and get back in the win column. Yes, that's for sure. Queensland will be starting Ben Naylor in goal. We got captains Ben Spillane, assistant captains Eric Speedy and Harley Anderson. We got the D playing Sean Savage, Simon Magiscan, Lachlan Tripp, Tommy Kilinick, Jay Hodgson, and Nick Cleland. And up front, Anthony Barnes, Seb Gobill, Nick Jones, Eric Speedy, Josh Anderson, Aram Rapchuk, Marco Bertosa, Harley Anderson, Matt Johnson, Ben Nickel, Alex Higgins, Josh Labrie, and Anthony Santilli. And backing up Ben Naylor today, number 41, Steve Harris. And for Western Australia, we've got your number three, Jordan Grover on forward, number four, Brett Jolly, D. Number eight, Johan Levesque up front. Number 12, Kieran Webster. Number 19, Lee Tortoise. Number 22, Jamie Campbell. Number 65, James Elliott. Number 81, Dan McGrath. Number 91, Ivan Agayev. Number 39, Scott Hillier. Number 16, Yannick Lodge. Number 13, Alistair Pundler. Number 11, Ryan Rockwell. Number 15, Harry Tanner. Number, and in net starting today, we have number 99, Mark McCann, backed up by number 38, Corey Boutin. Patrick, we'll see how we go here. I mean, WA's lost to Victoria yesterday. They started out relatively well, pretty even game in the first five minutes. But after that, Vic just crashed the net, put a lot of shots towards the goal. They took away a lot of the ice from the smooth skating Webster and Lodge. And WA really couldn't get anything going in the second period and beyond. They faded relatively quickly. Yeah, you say Victoria, I believe you mean New South Wales. I meant New South Wales. Yes. Thank you, Patrick. Much appreciated. <laughs> yeah, and Queensland coming off a loss to Victoria last night. A three to one loss. Very tight game all the way through Queensland out shooting Victoria, but just unable to get too many quality chances, lots of shots from the outside. There was, you know, there was a lot of guys cruising in through the blue line, taking a wrister from the top of the circles. Yeah. And in a lot of ways, they got away from the game against New South Wales, where they put the puck down low, battled hard for it, and created chances from the bottom coming back into the slot. So we'll see if they try and return to that banging bodies down low. Yeah. I think they had some success with that. We'll see how it goes. Yes, ho hopefully for them they can. WA also didn't get many chances on the power play last game against New South Wales. Their power play is pretty, pretty vicious. They got Lodge on one half wall. They put Kieran Webster as the quarterback on the umbrella. Agayev down low. Big old Jamie Campbell in front. It's hard to deal with those guys. Yeah, it, so, sure, it sure is, especially when they're, especially when you're a man short. And they're, they're, they should usually be on top, on top of you. End of the warm up now. Teams heading to the benches, or the nets rather, to do a cheer and. We'll be, we'll be starting in a minute. Ethan Smith picking up the pucks again. One of our junior players, his dad, Chris Smith, is actually the assistant coach for the Queensland team. Yes. Ethan's a pretty slick little player. Yeah, sure he is. Might actually, um, I might suggest he give some tips to his dad on slap shots. <laughs> Maybe so.
Referee for today's game is Daryl Dunsford. Daryl actually a uh, former player for Queensland at this tournament a number of years ago. Yeah. Yes, he was. All right. Team seem to be hitting the ice now. We should have the puck drop in just a few moments. Starting lineup for Queensland is going to be Harley Anderson at center. You got Aaron Rapchuk on the right wing, Anthony Barnes on the left wing. In D, we're going with Jay Hodgson and Simon Magiscan. On WA up front, we got Jamie Campbell, Kieran Webster, and Ivan Nagayev. Actually, Jamie Campbell sliding back, Yannick Lodge coming forward, and Jordan Grover, the uh, fifth man on for WA. Queensland on early, dumps it into the WA zone. Grover to Campbell. Campbell looking forward for Lodge, but Rapchuk cuts it off. Campbell just dumps it out into the neutral zone. Hodgson there to deal with it, slaps it back into the WA zone. Cross ice to Lodge. Lodge can't hold it on his stick though, and it ends up with Harley Anderson from Queensland. Back to Magiscan, looking for Hodgson. Hodgson in the middle to Aaron Rapchuk. Rapchuk takes a shot on net, and Mark McCann covers and holds. We get our first whistle. Yeah, both teams coming out quick. Play looking fast already, just in that first 30 seconds. WA, Got to watch that stretch pass from them. They seem to love that. Yeah, and it's been effective for them in the past, this tournament. WA dumps it from across center down low, but James Elliott able to win the battle for the puck, no icing. Puck hooked that back down low. Eric Speedy picks it up for Queensland and wheels. He goes long, just caught off by Rothwell. Just looking for Ben Nickel across the line, but Rothwell there. Nickel able to get it off his stick, though. But back on Rothwell's stick. And we're going to have our first penalty of the game. Looks like a late hit against WA, Patrick. Yeah, that, that looks like the case. Um, number 13, assistant captain Alistair Pundler. He'll be, he'll be going to the box for two minutes or less if Queensland can pull something out here and score a goal in that first power play of the game. 14.04. At the, is the time mark in the first period. One shot for Queensland, but we'll see how they go. Got Webster and Lodge as the penalty killing, for, penalty killing forwards for WA. Lodge up there challenging, trying to get the puck out. Not able to do so though. And it's held in, buddy. Oh, puck bouncing around, knocked down low. And WA able to fire the puck all the way down the ice. Sean Savage collects for Queensland, sets himself up behind the net. Probably looking for Harley Anderson to speed away with it on the wing. There we go, up to Anderson. Anderson gains the red line, gains the blue line, into the zone. Loses it in the corner though. Nice defensive play. However, the puck goes to the blue line with Sean Savage. Savage across to Spillane. Spillane bobbles it a little bit, but able to collect it. Looks to the net, has a wrister on net. Oh, clinks it off the crossbar. Goalie didn't see it with some good traffic in front. Puck on the side wall, Anderson. Anderson feeds it, tries to feed it back down low. And then Puck gets in there to Sean Higgins. Alex Higgins there with it. Alex Higgins feeds out in front. Anthony Barnes fought hard to get to that tough ice. But again, McCann stood tall. Bit of a shaky start to the power play there for Queensland with not being able to control the puck, but a bit later, coming down, getting possession in the WA end, and good good chance on net there by uh, Anthony Barnes. Anthony yeah. Barnes. We'll see how they go here. Hodgson. Hodgson sets up on the the puck on the side wall, fed directly on net by Nick Jones. Easy save for McCann. Seems to be the way this power play is going. 44 seconds left. Queensland. Winning the face-offs, controlling the puck, and just getting it to the net. See, if I think they got to get away from some of those shots from the side wall, Patty. I think that that's not going to score in a goalie in this tournament. Yeah, puck I agree back. with you. Hodgson with the wrister, tipped and over the net. WA attempts to fire it down the ice, but Clint Cleland gets it at the point and holds it in. Has some control. Cross-ice pass to Jones. Misses the one-timer. Unlucky by Jones as he sets up on the side wall. Puck back to Hodgson. Hodgson over to Cleland. Cleland at the other point. Cleland steps in, looks for... 
the slap shot by Jones on the one-timer, blocked by a body in front. Penalty coming up. We're going to get WA in the box again. Queensland pulls their goalie to get the extra man. Puck back to Hodgson. Hodgson takes a slapper, saved by the goalie. And that's one of those ones where... And, uh... Jay Hodgson. Jay Hodgson appears to have broken his stick, trying to take a slap shot from the point there. That's upsetting for Hodgson for a number of yes. reasons, Patrick. Yes, it sure is. Not the least of which is the $300 he's going to have to spend now to buy himself a new one. Sure is. Queensland will have 10 seconds on the five on three here. Oh, no, apparently Queensland also got a penalty. Number oh. 91, Josh Labrie going, going to the box. Yes. So it'll be, we'll have five on four for 10 seconds for Queensland, and then back to five on five. All well, the two penalties cancel each other out. So in 10 seconds, we'll have a five on four. I think I've got it, Patty. Five on four for 10 seconds, and then back to five on five. Gotcha. Good thing you're here to help me with my math. Oh. Dangerous shot by Webster as he got it right off the draw, spun and fired, but Naylor was up to the task. I think Queensland was a little confused, as, as I was, about the whole situation. And they didn't set up properly on their defensive zone face-off, but they look like they got it now. Yes. Yeah. They... Puck won by Webster. Webster gets it back to Grover, gets it in. Agayev takes a shot, no rebound, and it goes to the corner. Rapchuk picks it up, slides it forward to Anderson. Anderson chips it forward, and Barnes is there to pick it up. Slides it through, but the D is there to slide it by. Agayev, but battling Kilinick, but Kilinick holds the puck in. WA able to get the puck out now, but Agayev on the, on the boards in the neutral zone, finds Webster. Webster crosses the line, tries to take on a few guys, not able to. Barnes tries to carry it across the blue line with no success. Great defensive play by Kilinick to knock Ivan Agayev off the puck. Harley Anderson, Steven forward. Gets a shot on net, high and wide. A pinch, and Kieran Webster gets the puck. Boy, chance for a two-on-one, but the puck just didn't come with him. Yannick Lodge goes up, crosses the line. Puckins drifts into the corner, and we got Lodge and Lachlan Tripp battling for the puck in there. Lodge comes away with it, Rapchuk on his back. Now Tripp coming in, and finally they're able to squeeze the puck off Yannick Lodge. Puck knocked out over the blue line by Josh Anderson. Wholesale change by Queensland. Webster to Pundler. Pundler looking forward. Couldn't find his man, Agayev as he cruised through the zone. And we got Sean Savage going with it again. Savage wheels behind his net, cuts out in front. He's got to watch out, he's got number 15, Harry Tanner all over him, and Tanner causes him to cough the puck up. Tanner dumps it in, Lee Tortoise chasing it. Sean Savage collects it down low, but again, Tanner there to take that puck off him. Puck up to Big Jamie Campbell at the point, he just chucks it back down low and says, forwards work for it. Johan Levesque down there, centers it out, but no one there, and it goes all the way down into the WA zone with Jolly chasing it. Jolly tries to fire it up. Anderson stops it, puts it down low, hoping it's going to get taken up by Queensland. No success. Levesque's carrying it out. And Queensland just dumps it out, and it's going to be icing this time. No, icing is waved off inexplicably as the linesmen stare at each other. Dick Jones, great defensive play in the neutral zone, covers it to Eric Speedy. Speedy puts a move on the D and just can't get it over the pad of the goalie. But there's the shot. As Big Ben Spillay, the captain of Queensland, follows it up. Great save by Mark McCann on Eric Speedy, but he was down and out for the rebound. Yeah. Unfortunately, after that great save, Mark McCann just not able to recover fast enough to, for the rebound that popped out right to Ben Spillay, and he put it in on the open left side. It was a nice rush by Speedy. Took it down the wing, wide with speed. Beat his man defensively. Carried it across the front of the net and put the goalie down, and Spillane mopping up the garbage. Top shelf for the goal. Cleland, Cleland feeds Nickel. Nickel crosses the blue line now. Oh, Jolly not fooled by that one though. And we get the puck forward 
to James Elliott. Speedster Elliott crosses the line, fires it on net. Nice save by Ben Naylor. Alistair Pundler, the defenseman, taking things into his own hands, going into the corner after the puck. Elliott trying to win it off trip, not able to, and Cleland recovers. Feeds the man on the boards. Got Nick Jones fighting along the sidewall, gives it back to Cleland, who loses it in his feet, but Ben Nickel able to clear it up. Scott Hillier all over the place trying to get that puck back, and putting a lot of pressure on the Queensland defense. Cleland has the puck now. Cleland circles back, finds his defenseman Lachlan Tripp, pucks a little bit away from him, but he has time to regroup. Tripp to Killinick. Killinick on the back, able to collect the puck and go forward with it. Killinick to Rapchuk. Rapchuk. Rapchuk runs into the man coming out of the bench, but Killinick's able to clean it up. Webster comes away with it. But Lodge left all alone, and Lodge chasing the puck. Lodge able to come out there with the puck. Feeds his captain, Kieran Webster. Webster to Agayev. Nice defensive play by Anthony Barnes to knife it away from Agayev in the slot. Been a lot of up and down play here in the first, hasn't there? I mean, not a lot, not too many shots from either team. And puck moving up and down constantly. A lot of passes in the neutral zone that aren't finding their target. Yeah, and not, not, too, not too much to stay in possession for either team. Kilinick behind his own net, battling with Agayev. Agayev. Wins the puck, but only temporarily as he takes a nice hit from Kilinick, who then frees it up. Puck played by Agayev into the slot, but the only one there to pick it up is Sean Hag Alex Higgins. Higgins on McCann. McCann puts it off the wall, put that back down low by Matty Johnson. Higgins down low, trying to find Labrie in front, unsuccessful. Matty Johnson finding, but Agayev able to take it off him and fire it to the opposite corner. Higgins battling there with Lodge. Lodge ends up with the puck. Hits Webster with the right on the tape. Webster to Agayev, and Webster's driving the net. Agayev feeds it through, but off the skate to Sean Savage. Not able to do anything with it. Left with the puck, we got Josh Labrie winding up. Labrie into the neutral zone. Crosses into the other team's zone. Takes a slapper on net. Hits Jamie Campbell in the leg. Campbell will feel that one tonight. And the puck bounces to the corner. Johnson down low to Nickel. Nickel all alone. Not able to handle it, and Kieran Webster gives it to Ivan Agayev, who sends it forward to Lodge. Lodge drifts it into the Queensland zone and looks to get a change. Puck over to Magiscan. Magiscan hits Nick Jones on the far wall. Jones hits Speedy, going through the middle. Speedy makes a beautiful move, and the puck... It's waved off by the referee. The puck is put into the net by the Queensland player who was thrown into the goalie by the defenseman of WA, but the ref inexplicably waves it off. Yeah, I believe the ref thought that the goalie had it covered before the player came crashing into him there, Ivan. This is one of those ones where the forwards crash in the net, gets takes down by the defender, and they all go into the goalie. Did the goalie have it covered? As a goalie, Patrick, what do you think? Would you have called that one in or no goal? Well, I'm not too sure. I think I think he had it covered, but the whistle hadn't gone yet, so it's tough to say. Tough call, but what's done is done. Queensland putting pressure on again. Got Jamie, K got Alistair Pundler battling Nick Jones. 13 on 13 in there. Pundler wins the battle, but he actually fires it down the ice and will get an icing call. One left in the first period here. Shot seven to three for Queensland, and they're up one goal to zero. Puck drop. Seb Goble wins it. Back to the point, but not able to keep it in was Ben Spillane. Johan Lebeck able to chase after it, but a nice coverage by defensive partner Nick Cleland to get back. Cleland fires it up off Goble's stick and into the WA bench. WA started strong, but Queensland's really been buzzing for the last three or four minutes, Patrick. Yeah, they have. They've been creating a lot of chances, rushing up the ice, getting, on, getting in on net. This is the stuff they missed yesterday, in my opinion, was that working it down into the corners and then trying to create chances out front. Well back by Josh Anderson. Forward defensively, Brickett wins that puck, shoots it back into the WA zone. It's on the goalie, so no icing. Jolly, Jolly looks up forward, looking for Webster, or look, or Lodge finds Webster, 
Anderson with him, though, and knocks the puck away. Webster chases it, though. Webster and Agea versus Cle Cleveland and Anderson. Anderson comes out with the puck. Fires it in the middle of the ice, though, and the only one there was Yannick Lodge, who has the puck on his stick, looking for Agea driving the net and not able to find him. Puck fired to the point. Grover takes a shot. Nice save by Ben Naylor. And he covers the rebound. Ben Naylor not facing a lot of shots here in the first period, although there's been uh, a solid amount of possession in the Queensland end. Might, might be getting tough for him to keep his head in the game after have, having a lot of movement and not a lot of shots. They're goalies, Patrick. We don't have to worry too much about them. <laughs> Anthony Barnes gets the puck in the middle of the ice, but coughs it up. Puck just lying in the zone. Rapchuk slicing for it. Barnes again tries to carry it out of the zone, not able to do so. And Harley Anderson there to clean it up with Thomas Kilinick. A little bit sloppy play in the neutral zone here. Rapchuk collects the puck, chips it in. It's just inside the line as the line's been gotten away. Rapchuk, deking at the line, gets a shot on net, dealt with well by McCann. Fighting for the puck in there, Harley Anderson. He's fighting against Hillier. Hillier's done some really good hard work this period. Ends up with Thomas killing it. He gets the puck. Barnes shoots it in, and they get off for a change. Anderson pressuring, but Hillier gets the puck in the neutral zone for W.A. W.A. fires it in. Lee Tortoise after it. Hodgson, though, beats him to the puck. The puck put forward for Ben Nickel. Nickel chasing it. Rothwell from W.A. able to stop him in the neutral zone. Anderson there, though, shoots it in. Queensland gets a change in. Jamie Campbell rifles it around the board, looking for Lee Tortoise on the far wall. Puck comes, nope, doesn't come out. Apologies. Eric Speedy able to save it at the point, down low to Ben Nickel. Nickel back to Speedy. Speedy shovels it in front. The only one there, Jamie Campbell, able to get it forward to Johan Lebec. Lebec crosses the line, and just avoided near death as he sidestepped Eric Speedy. Speedy gets the puck in the neutral zone. Takes a big slapper. Goes well wide. Sean Savage takes another slapper, which goes wide. Speedy getting the puck. Has time, looks out in front. The legs of Jamie Campbell are getting in the way of every single pass or shot, it seems, Patrick. Yeah, it would seem that way. Could have something to do with the fact that they're about to stick to the tree trunk. <laughs> Three minutes 48 left to go in the first period. Shots nine to four for Queensland, who are still up one goal. Puck won cleanly back to Cleland. Cleland slapper dealt with pretty easily by Mark McCann. Addie, to the net, to the net. That shot didn't, I don't think that shot was even really on the net. Just, That's one of those ones Patrick by, worked. Sorry about that. <laughs> picked up by Mark McCann going wide. Just saying it's one of those shots where the inside winger has got to drive the net to get in front. Well, that, that obviously goes to the point man. That's the inside winger's job to get the net. Yeah. Lodge up there looking for poaching. Not able to do so. Josh Labrie gets it, crosses the line. Feeds it back down in the corner to Matt Johnson. Johnson against Pundler from WA. Pundler rides him out. But with a little help from his friend, Sean Higgins. Alex Higgins able to get that puck back down low. Cleland fires it back in. Johnson chasing it again. The linesman called icing. I think the linesman may be fooled by icing. I think he thinks it's icing if you're across the red line, Patrick. Yeah, he, he, he appeared to be at the red line and shot it in, but not, not really probably going to affect the game too much. Josh Labrie collects it off the faceoff, fires it forward, looking for Matt Johnson, who knifes it into the neutral zone. Ivan Agayev will be there to collect the puck. Agayev circles forward, looking for either Webster or Lodge, finds Webster, not quite. The pass was pretty soft. Agayev with it again. Somehow ends up with it as it comes out of his skate, and Webster gets it, crossing into the zone. Looking for Lodge, but not able to collect it. Puck put forward for Anderson. Anderson coming forward. Backhand blind pass in the, in the middle of the zone. Ends up on the other team's tape. Lodge cruising through the zone. Shot on net going the other way. Dangerous, but steered wide by Naylor. 
puck battle in the corner here. We have Lodge and Webster fighting again. Queensland trying to carry it out. Lachlan tripped behind the net now, battling against Yannick Lodge. Tripp fires the puck to Anderson. Anderson to Rapchuk. Rapchuk chips it forward. Kilinick coming up from his defensive position to find the puck. Far side is Anthony Barnes. Rapchuk gets it and not able to get that shot on net. Blocked nicely by Grover. Rapchuk circles behind the net. We've got Rapchuk versus Jamie Campbell. It's a bit of a size mismatch there. Puck back down low. Grover versus Rapchuk. Grover slides it up on the boards to Yannick Lodge. Lodge able to slide it to Elliott. And Elliott gets it across the ice, but not out. Elliott circles back, gets up ahead of Steve, plays the puck directly on the tape of Ben Nickel. Nickel slides in, he's all alone here, one versus three, and he puts the puck out, the only one there, Rothwell. Won nicely though, and here's Elliott again. He seems everywhere on the ice today. Cross to Hillier, Hillier loses it, crosses the blue line without the puck, and it's fired forward by Ben Nickel. Nickel just slides it forward to Eric Speedy on the far wing. Speedy versus Rothwell. Speedy steps around Rothwell. Back to the point. Hudson going to have the shot. Good defensive play, though, by Hillier. Tipped wide over the top. Jones down low to Speedy. Speedy looking out front for Nickel. Speedy down low to Jones. Shot right on net. Nickel in front. Battling there for it with Elliott. Oh, my gosh. Eric Speedy hits the crossbar. Sean Savage battling on the boards. DeGraff able to battle with him. Get that puck out to Hillier. Hillier dumps it in, chases it, and then all the WA players peel off for a change. Got some pretty back and forth action going on, Patrick. 33 seconds left in the game, or in the period, sorry. Puck in the WA zone. Goldfield gets a shot on net. Jolly there, and able to clear it forward. Levesque with the puck, Levesque battling Hodgson. 20 seconds left, Hodgson able to slide it forward. Jolly just dumps it back in, hoping for some pressure in the last 10 seconds here. Puck on the far wall with Levesque. Levesque gets it to Grover at the point, who takes a slapper. But it can't get through, and that's about gonna do it. As Spillane risks it down the ice. That'll be the end of that period. Yeah, we saw a lot of up and down play all period, didn't we, Ivan? Not, not too many whistles and a whole lot of play in the neutral zone. Suggests that when Queensland had success, they had the puck down low, battling hard in the corners, putting the defense of WA under pressure. Yes, and WA was not quite the same, though. They had more of their chances coming down on the rushes. Absolutely. WA... Real counter-attacking team, looking for those long lead-out passes. Seems looking for Webster and Lodge. Big cross-ice pass and coming out for a counter-attack that way. Yeah, not, not been executing that stretch pass they love so much too well today, though, as we've seen in other games, but who knows? Maybe that's going to change later in this game. We'll have to see. Maybe I'll give a little text. We'll have to recommend that Mark Ballancourt and Bruce McAleese work a little bit on the passing when they get back to WA. Both teams hitting the ice now for the start of the second period. Same starting lineup as we saw in the first for Queensland and WA at their bench still. My guess here, Patrick, is we're going to go Agaev, Karen, Webster, and Lodge up front. We got them three coming out of the box, and here's Campbell. We're looking for one more player from WA. Oh, there we go. Jordan Grover, what a surprise. Webster wins the draw back to Campbell. Campbell, nice pass up to Agaev. Agaev crosses the blue line, takes a wrister on net, held by Ben Naylor as Webster cruises through the slot. Not sure Naylor wanted to hold that one. Looked like he was ready to play it, but the ref seemed to blow it down when he caught it. It was a bit of a quick whistle, wasn't it? Yeah. Anderson, Webster, puck drop. Anderson wins, but Agaev does a nice job of popping through and winning the puck. Agaev gets the puck to the point, and Grover slides it forward. 
puck in the skates of Anthony Barnes, not able to collect it. One by Webster. Webster's looking for a, a Gayev in the slot, but he fires it directly on Ben Naylor, right in the crest for a stop. That's what most of the shots on Ben Naylor have been like. He's had seven so far with 14.37 left in the second period. Queensland has done a nice job of keeping most of those shots to the outside, and Naylor's done a nice job of not allowing much rebounds coming through. Lodge on the have. sidewall, tries to throw it out front. Sean Savage there defensively, but had his pocket picked by Ivan Agaev. Webster cruising in front. That had danger written all over it. Nick Jones on the sidewall, able to knock it to the boards, and Speedy gets it forward to Ben Nickel. Savage joining the play for a two-on-one. We got six. Right on the stick of Savage, oh! Nice sliding defensive play by Agaev. I think he got a little bit of Savage. And he hurried him at any extent, and the puck popped over his stick, and then Agaev takes off the net. It looked a bit like a rock star sliding into that net on both knees. <laughs> Thankfully, Mark McCann able to get out of the way and not get crashed by his own player, Agaev. Speedy wins the draw, throws it down low to Nickel. Nickel battling with Rothwell down there. Rothwell able to punch the puck up along to the wing. Hillier there on the wing. Actually, it's Dan DeGraff, sorry. Hillier on the other wing. There's Hillier. Hillier does a nice job, chips it forward, and Speedy, James Elliott, gets after it. Hillier down low, looking to the slot. He finds it. Hillier, oh my gosh! That puck fired into the slot for Hillier. And I don't think it actually would have been a goal if Hillier hadn't almost completely missed the puck. Naylor had it covered. Hillier fanned on it. But the puck, because he fanned on it, went right to the graph and put it in the open net. Yeah, Hillier was probably happy in hindsight that he didn't get the shot off on that one as <laughs> Naylor had him, had him well covered. And then the graph able to just put it in. I'm sure Scott Hillier will be telling everyone how that was a perfectly designed pass by him right to the graph. 1-1, 13 minutes into the left in the period. Shot right on net by Josh Anderson, dealt well with by Mark McCann. Queensland won't be happy with that one. There was two WA players in the slot completely unmarked. Yeah, they probably need to be doing a little better defensively on that one. That was one of the more preventable goals we've seen, isn't it? We had back checkers, but they, were, they weren't back checking with any purpose. They were just back checking with outcomes. Forward to Johan Lebeck. Lebeck got a little hook as he was putting that shot forward, and I think we're going to get a penalty here against Lachlan Tripp. WA goalie to the bench on the side wall. Uh, the puck coughed out up across the blue line. Grover back to collect it. He's going to look across the ice to Jolly. Jolly's got it. He dips it forward. And the puck just knocked in by Tortoise, collected by Queensland, and the penalty will be happening now. Looks like Lachlan Tripp going to the box for the hook on Johan Lebeck. It's a tough was... call on this one, Patty, because you know as a defender that if you let the guy go, he's going to have a breakaway. And if you don't let him go, you got a penalty. Yeah. I think Lachlan Tripp made a, he made a call there. It's hard to say whether it was right or not, but Ben Naylor was able to stop the shot either way. You're darned if so you well do, done. you're darned if you don't. Yeah, you're right about that. Power play for WA. We'll see how they set up. The puck held in at the point by Webster. Well done against Marco Bertoza. Puck to the sidewall with Lodge, where he likes to set up. Back to Webster as the quarterback on the power play. Over to Grover on the other sidewall. Grover looking probably for the cross-ice pass. Goes but taken away from him. Goes back down low to Jamie Campbell. Agayev in front, waiting for the puck. Campbell battling hard in the corner against Simon Magiscan. Campbell comes away with it. Puck stuck in the wall. And back up along the sidewall, Yannick Lodge. Lodge there. Lodge looking back down low to Campbell. Campbell back to Lodge. Lodge looking out to Webster at the top, but knocked away nicely by Bertoza. And Webster back to collect. Webster sets up shot behind his own net. Lodge comes back to collect the puck and carries it away. Lodge looking back for Webster. Webster forward to Agaev. Agaev crosses the line, feeds it out in front, but it was a high and bobbling puck, not able to be collected. Jamie Campbell, however, gets it on the sidewall, finds Grover. Grover to Lodge. 
Lodge looking for a Gayev in the slot, off the skate to the wing. Webster at the quarterback, throws it down low into the corner where Grover gets it again. Grover back to Webster at the point. Puck hops over his stick though, and it's out over the blue line. Goville and Bertoza make a change. WA doesn't though, and now they're back in two on one. Nice setup for a one-timer by Lodge. Didn't get all of it, and Naylor able to cover it. Anderson slides, not able to keep it out, get it out. Lodge on the wing. Lodge looking for Webster, can't get the puck to him. Lodge, fans on it, able to get it to Webster. One-timer, blocked in front by Alex Higgins. Higgins chasing it against Webster. He's gonna get that puck and pin it down low. Nine seconds left in the, in the penalty. Higgins gets it. Webster, a little tired if you ask me. He's been out there the entire power play. And he's going back to collect it again. That'll do it. Power play done. Webster itching to get off. He's absolutely bagged. He's trying to get that puck forward. Elliott does so and drifts it into the WA zone. Elliott, oh my. Johan Lebeck, again, great chance. Open in front, uncovered. Puck left there on the boards. Rapchuk going forward. Rapchuk versus Pudler. Rapchuk sauces it across. Great play. Anthony Barnes able to collect that sauce. Puts it right into McCann. Nice save. Yeah, great save there by Anthony McCann. And a good penalty kill before by Queens. They were actually blocking quite a few shots from WA on that power play. They kept everything to the outside. They didn't allow WA's play where they love to go from Grover across to Lodge and Lodge across to Grover. So I think the job was done well on that power play, on that penalty kill. WA a lot of possession, but not much actual scoring chances. Puck on the wall to Barnes. Barnes through, through the slot to Rapchuk. Rapchuk finds it in there for Henderson. Anderson slides it to the point. Rister on net, open. Barnes couldn't collect the rebound. Barnes throws it in front, and it's gonna drift out on the zone. Cleland collects it, pressure there by Scott Hillier. Cleland finds Barnes, Barnes knifes it into the zone, but actually knifes it into the player's bench and we will get a change. Good shift there by Queensland, lots of pressure and a couple of good scoring chances. <coughs> yeah, they had a lot of possession on that shift, a couple of good scoring chances. Jones gets bucked for Queensland. Jones fires it in on net. McCann grabs it. Holds the puck. Had a little think about that one, didn't he? He did. Wasn't sure whether he wanted to drop it or not. 10.03 left to go in the second period. We're looking pretty even on shots. Queensland up 13-11. And score tied at 1-1. Speedy versus Elliott in the faceoff dot. Speedy wins it. Back to Kilnick. Kilnick shot. Blocker saved by the goalie. Puck goes out into the neutral zone. Speedy after it. Speedy takes a turn on James Elliott. Fires it back in. Puck bouncing. Jolly collects it. Just drifts it out into the neutral zone where Killinick's there to get it. Nickel putting pressure on Jolly. Over to Hillier. Hillier dumps it forward for James Elliott. Elliott not allowed to, not allowed to get past Lachlan Tripp. Nickel to Speedy. Speedy carries it in. Speedy goes past two WA players but he's past the net now, not able to get it. Speedy circles in front, just past the stick of Jones as he cruised through the slot. Jones on the wall, covered by Hillier. Hillier able to knock it off his stick, but his pass into his own neutral, into his own slot, only found Eric Speedy. Elliott just dumps it out to relieve the pressure. Kilinick there, turns well on the forward. Kilinick dumps it in, and we're gonna get chased by Anderson as Jolly collects the puck for WA. Down low, Josh Labrie with the puck. Labrie turns with time, looking for the puck. Fans on it though, but a nice hold in by Hodgson. Labrie back with the puck into the slot. Knife back down low by Alex Higgins. Finds Labrie, Labrie's got the puck. Labrie on the side wall as players move around. Sauced into the middle. Great sauce by Labrie, right on the sticks of, stick of Higgins, but read well by the goalie McCann. Yeah, great save there by McCann. The play this period looking a little different than we saw in the first. Both teams being able to maintain a little more possession in the offensive zone. WA might give McCann a slap on the pads here with 8.45 left in the game in the period because he saved two sure things. Attempted blind pass by Higgins pops out over the zone. Labrie gets it, regains it, but right on the stick of Lodge. Lodge looping through the zone, well back by Anderson. 
Webster collects with a shot off the pad to Hodgson. Hodgson collects it, goes forward to Higgins. Higgins has the puck, plays it into the slot for Labrie. Labrie wins it down low, circles back out in front, cut by the stick of Higgins, and he shoots wide. Golden opportunity for Higgins, not able to connect properly with the puck. He slides it to Hodgson at the point, D to D. Magistan takes the slapper on net. Puck free, puck loose, bouncing away. Jamie Campbell backhands that puck down the ice, and we'll have a whistle. Well, there were quite a few chances for Queensland there in that shift. Getting a couple of quality opportunities there on Mark McCann, who did well to keep them all out of the net. Eight minutes left in the second period. Second period. Shot 17 to 11 to Queensland. Score tied up at 1-1. Labrie took a shot off the skate. He's dancing over here on the bench, but I think he'll be all right to get on. Lapchuk dances around, finds Spillane. Spillane off the bum of Harley Anderson. The puck goes down low. Rothwell with the puck, fires it around the boards. Pinched in by Cleland, puck still in the zone. Webster has it, and he fires it all the way down the ice. This will be icing again. Queensland starting to build up some pressure in the WA end. Have, uh, WA having to ice it a couple of times there to, keep, to get it out and take off the pressure. Jamie Campbell, good battle down low against Rapchuk, able to win the puck. Rothwell on the board to Agaev. Agaev gets the puck forward, but nobody there. Circled nice by Barnes. Barnes barges into the zone. Gets a wrister high and wide, though. Puck in the neutral zone. Oh, my God, what a save by McCann. Wow, that was magnificent. Beautiful save by there, McCann, after a funny bounce off the netting behind the goal. Popped right out in front of the Queensland player, and McCann was able to get a glove to it. Barnes and Anderson give a yell after that one. Fudge, said Anderson. He sure did. One by Queensland, but a good play by Lebec to barge through and get that puck. Trip with the puck on his stick. Feeds it forward to Speedy. Speedy dumps it in the zone right on McCann. McCann's going to cover this one for a whistle. McCann's doing well, freezing the puck and controlling his rebounds this game. Seven minutes and six seconds left to go in the first. Queensland 20 shots now, WA still 11, game tied up at 1-1. Jones circles, gets a wrister on net, blocker down by the goalie, but it's lying there. Speedy backhands it out in front, no look, and of course it ends up on the, def on the defenseman for WA's stick. WA goes forward, good work by Lebec to get that puck forward. Puck fired in by Speedy, not able to be won by Lake Nickel as Pundler turns and, fires the and gets the puck over to his forward who gets the puck in. Kilinick circles against Pundler. Good work by Pundler down low. Speedy comes up, helps his defenseman win the puck to Lachlan Tripp. Skip, Tripp goes forward, gets across the center line, fires it into the far side. Jones to collect it on the far side against Lebec. Jones and Lebec battling for the puck there. Helped by Ben Nickel. In comes Rothwell. Magiscan joins the fray. And Jolly. We had a bit of a conference down there, Patrick. Yeah. Jones needing to pin the puck against the boards with the skates as he lost his stick over the boards. And into That's the netting. A classic Queensland play. You don't see the stick go through the glass very often in the other states. No, you don't. And one of Queensland's earlier game, a player even. WA wins the draw. Jamie Campbell, nice little move as he steps around Maddie Johnson, feeds Webster, who steps across the line. Webster cruising through the around behind the net, looking for someone to give the puck to, finds his point man in Campbell. Campbell wrists it on net, but a nice save by Ben Naylor as he saw it the whole way. Puck collected there by Marco Bertoza. And the puck pops out across the line. Grover back to Jamie Campbell. Campbell looking forward for Agaev. Agaev gets a touch on it and drifts it into the Queensland zone. Magiscan turns, finds Bertoza. Bertoza drifts it up into the middle of the zone. Popped back forward by Rothwell and it ends up on the stick of Agaev. Agaev and Webster in the zone. Webster spin around and fires it down low and Lodge the only one down there to collect it. Lodge tries to put a little move. 
Sean Savage says, I don't think so. And the puck ends up with the puck, and he's tripped as he comes forward. And the ref decides not to call it. Ends up on the stick of Matt Johnson. Matty Johnson, though, loses it along the boards to Rothwell. Ryan Rothwell does a nice job coming forward with the puck. Cleared nicely, though. However, Harley Anderson there to get it. Rothwell, again, in his place there. Two on one. Lodge and Webster, the two guys you don't want coming forward. Lodge tries to come across. Blocked nicely by Nick Cleland. That pass didn't make it through to its intended target. Puck forward. Rapchuk attempts to knife it forward for Barnes. We got Cleland getting it down low. Barnes getting a penalty for slashing. Those neutral zone penalties are tough to take on a coach. Yeah. Naylor not seeing a lot of action through the middle of this period, but now that WA is on the power play, he might, might be seeing a bit, of, a bit of rubber. Queensland no doubt has turned up the heat. This was even shots at the beginning of the period, and now it's doubled it, doubled it up to 21-11. WA, though, will have a chance now with their potent power play to see if they can get something going. Elliott wins it back to Rothwell. Rothwell with a wrister blocked in front by Josh Anderson, and that puck into the neutral zone. Pundler finds Levesque. Levesque tries to knife it into the zone, but he only gets it towards Hodgson. Hodgson finds the puck down low and able to flip it out over top of Pundler, if you can believe it, and all the way down the ice. Rothwell circles behind his own net, looking for Elliott to come back and get it, which he does. Elliott starts crossing over, makes up some speed, finds the cross ice pass to Pundler. Pundler enters the zone. Alistair Pundler sets up on the side wall, drifts back towards the point. Pundler back on the side wall, down low to Levesque. Levesque some nice work to win the puck back. He gets it to Pundler. Pundler to act back to Levesque. Levesque looking for Elliott out front. Levesque steps out. Puck lying in the crease. Wide open, but the only one in there is Hodgson. Hodgson fires it into the WA bench. Yeah. WA really putting on some pressure in this power play. Not got any shots to the net yet, but they are doing a great, good job of keeping the possession in the Queensland end. They have their first unit out now. We'll see how they go. Puck one down low by Lodge. Lodge behind the net. Lodge probably looking to set up on the side wall. Finds Grover on the point. Across to Webster on the other point. Webster finds Lodge back in his favorite spot on the right wing side wall. Lodge, not sure what to do. Slides it down low, down to Jamie Campbell. Who's in his skates. Campbell had trouble controlling and passes back to Lodge. Lodge to Campbell. Campbell, Agayev in front. Trying to get the puck to Agayev, and they do. But he couldn't get all the shot on it as he had his stick lifted slightly. Puck couldn't be cleared, though, and it's back down to Agayev. Agayev trying to get the puck in front. Collects it now. Passes it back to Lodge. Lodge on the half wall. Down low to Campbell. Lodge to the front of the net. Campbell steps out. Campbell just shielding the puck against Seb Goebel. Puck back to the point to Webster, but it was on his backhand and popped over the line. Bertoza looking for a change. Puck to Grover, and the penalty's done. But Webster, the dangerous Webster, breaks in, gains the zone, circles back. Nice job by Grover to keep the puck in the zone. Oh, puck fired down the ice to Anthony Barnes. Jeez, and the goalie thought he'd try to shoot it right through Barnes all the way up the ice. Almost made a big mistake. Forward by Grover as he carries it into the zone. Grover trying to look for Webster. Puck pops all the way back for number seven, Simon Magistan. Magistan looking forward for Speedy. Speedy finds Barnes. Barnes tries to find Speedy going to the front of the net. Not able to do so, but it ends up on the other side with Magistan. Agayev there, however, to save that one. Gives it to his Grover defenseman. Grover settled things down behind his net. Grover over to Jolly. Jolly in the corner. Lots of time to think about things. Goes cross ice to Webster, who made a nice break forward. Webster stopped very well by Kilinick. Kilinick steps forward into the middle of the neutral zone. Goes to the gains of line. Tries to put it on net. Misses the puck and puts it right on the stick of Webster, who slides it forward. Now we got a break by Lodge. We got a two on one. Lodge backhand on that line in the crease. Slapped away by Kilinick as the puck just lay there looking to get swatted in. Nickel back to Speedy Speedy with a shot. See Nick Jones, Speedy in the corner now. Oh! 
Jeez, Jolly takes out Speedy from behind. Speedy felt that one. We got a penalty coming up here against WA. Offside now. That's a bad hit. That might be called a two and a 10 for boarding. Yeah, it looks I like it will. I have no doubt it'll be two and a 10. The question is, is it five and a 10? Uh, Speedy looking a bit sore on the bench here. All right. Patrick, carry on without me. The medic needs to go see a player. All right. I'll have enough now to make sure Eric Speedy's okay after that hit against the boards. DeGraff looks like he's... No, sorry, not DeGraff. DeGraff serving the two minutes for the penalty against WA player. Queen's on the power play. Puck back to Spillane. Spillane tries to fire it in on net. Tipped away by Rothwell. Uh, Harley Anderson down in the corner. Brings it up to the point. Anderson controlling it. Shot on net. Put in by... Able to control that rebound and we just put in by Higgins after the shot by Jeff the shot from the point. That'll bring Queensland up to a 2-1 lead with 51.6 seconds left in the game. Shots 23 to 12 in the second period, sorry, not the game. Shots 23 to 12 for Queensland. Anderson and Webster at the dot. Puck one to the wing by Webster. Goes back to Savage. Savage across to Hodgson. Hodgson skating up the wing. Hodgson enters the zone. Called offside as the referee, as the linesman appears to have deemed that Barnes was over the line when Hodgson stepped across. There will be a face-off just outside the WA zone with Josh Anderson at center against, against Captain Webster. Ben Nickel entering the zone, down, down low in the corner. We got some bags Back here. Back up John. to Sean Savage. We'll get it. We'll get it. We don't worry about Sean it. Sean Savage tries to put it on net. Savage again. Webster, three on one. Tries to put it out to Guaya, pulls it around. Saved there by Ben Naylor. Appears to be a hooking penalty called against. Kieran Webster. Nope. Sorry. Number four, Sean Savage, taking the hooking penalty on that one. Not really sure how that came about, but he's off to the box for two minutes, and WA will have a power play. I'm back, Patrick. Just for those who uh, are worried, Eric Speedy, okay. Nothing wrong with twisting his knee or anything. He just banged it hard against the boards. Since his period's almost done, he's gone to the dressing room to put some ice on it. He'll be back. Referee's struggling a bit here, Patrick. Yeah, it would appear so. A bit of confusion around who was taking the penalty on that one. They thought it was Sean Savage, but I guess not. I've been known to help the referees out occasionally. I'm sure they would appreciate if I gave them some advice after this. Uh, I wouldn't go doing that, Ivan. You might not be allowed to commentate anymore if you give them too much advice. Puck in, we got five seconds left. Queensland will just hold it down low. And that's the end of the period. Queensland up 2-1 after the second. 23 shots to 14, and we'll be coming back with a Queensland power play for a minute and 41 seconds. I think Patrick, Queensland's gotten back to their game, getting it down low, working it around, rather than trying to play the, the sweet, free-flowing game that WA tries to play. Yeah, they sure have. They've really taken control in the second, and it's looking a lot more like their game than it was in the first. Well. 
WA's plays, WA's plays have really come on the counterattack. They've had two nice breaks, a two on one and a breakaway, and they've really come on the counterattack. So no doubt Queensland's going to have to keep an eye when WA gets the puck in their own zone about those guys breaking wide to the far side because they've, they've done a nice job in the second period of getting those passes through. Yeah, they sure have. Well, we're going to sign off now for a quick break, and we'll be back in about 10 minutes for the start of the third period.
and welcome back everybody. Ivan Rapchek and Patrick Ivan's with you for the third period here, WA versus Queensland. We're going to start this one with 15 minutes on the clock, stop time of course. Two goals for Queensland, one goal for WA. The shots, 24 for Queensland, 14 for WA. And in the penalty box, we have a 10 minutes, which is of course being sat by Brett Jolly to finish off his checking from behind penalty. And just at the end of the period, when Webster went in on the break and was taken down by Sean Hodgson, He'll be sitting the last one minute and 41 seconds of his penalty as well. So here we go, WA on the power play to get things going. Puck in, Grover carries across the line, circles into the slot, finds Campbell, Campbell back to Webster. Webster with the wrister, but right into the pads of Gobel and Seb Gobel. Swings her all the way down the ice, collected down there by Brian, by Mark McCann. Mark McCann gets it to Webster on the sideboards in his own zone. Looks forward for Agaev, but he can only... Oh! Nice move by Agaev, forehand to backhand. But great play by Nick Cleland, who comes to clean that play up. Agaev, cross ice to Lodge. Lodge collects it back to Webster at the point. Webster is a quarterback down there to the sidewall to Lodge. Looking cross ice to Grover. There it is. That's what they've been looking for all game. Nice save by Ben Naylor and a good shot by Jordan Grover as he just put it high on the goalie. Agaev looking to get that puck up back to Grover. Not able to though. Good battle on the boards. We got Savage and Gobel. We got Grover, Campbell and Agaev down there for WA. And that puck pops loose but all the way out across the line. Lodge steps quickly across the line. Swings the shot towards the net looking for a rebound that Webster was driving. And that puck is slapped down the ice by Alex Higgins. McCann there, trying to play it. He almost played it onto the stick of Josh Anderson. And Leo and Claire there, click, collect it there. Is Alex Higgins, who fires it back into the zone. Pundler there to collect it. Pundler forward to Lebec. Lebec steps into the zone, hits it into the skates of Higgins, and the puck pops out over the line. Higgins finds Elliott, trailing the play. Elliott's a tanner. Tanner dumps it down into the zone, looking for Levesque on the far side. Puck didn't make it very down, down low, though. And Josh Anderson clears it out back into the neutral zone. Tanner gets it to Pundler. Pundler skates forward, gains the red line, chips it to Levesque, but not able to get it into the zone. Levesque just fires it in. A WA chase. Trip back there. Shoots it by Levesque as he comes in for the forecheck. On the boards for Anthony Barnes. Barnes backhands it up on the boards. The only one there is W.A. W.A. shoots it back down low. Trip there. Trip looks forward. Finds Barnes. Barnes to Anderson. Anderson hooked down with no call. Barnes gets the puck. Goes to Rapchuk. Rapchuk shoots just wide. And the puck chipped down, back down low. Barnes there fighting for it along with Rapchuk. Rapchuk loses it on the boards. Finds it again against Rothwell. But it's cleared out of the zone by Tanner. Tanner. Gets the puck to the Queensland defense. Hodgson out of the box, drops the puck. Anthony Barnes takes a wrister right into the glove of Mark McCann. Yeah, WA maybe not as effective on that last power play as maybe some of the other ones during this game. And Queensland starting to take control again after having the, after coming back to full strike. Twelve so, thirteen left in the third period. Queensland hoping to get some more pressure. Puck jumps out, Campbell after it, racing but covered nicely by Ben Nickel. Webster after it in the corner though against Sean Savage. Got a penalty coming for some reason against Queensland. It's against... Looks like a charging call against Hodgson. Hodgson. Well, yeah, now W.A. have another chance, mate, to try and maybe have a more effective power play. Get a few more shots on Naylor and put one in the net. This is trouble for Queensland. They just started looking like they were getting it going. 
and another penalty, which allows WA to get their top five back on the ice. Grover at the point finds Webster. Webster quarterback down low to Campbell. Campbell to Grover. Grover to Webster at the point. Grover takes a shot on, nicely driven aside by Ben Naylor. Not much traffic in front on that one. Grover finds Webster again. Now we got Jamie Campbell in front. One timer by Lodge, high and wide. Puck slapped by Gobiel to the point, but only to Webster. Webster with a slapper. Nice tip by Campbell, but just wide. Puck one along the boards, nicely by Marco Batoza and thrown down the ice. Labrie on for the penalty kill. Looking to put some pressure on long lead pass for Lodge. Lodge back across to Pundler. Pundler steps in the zone, gets Campbell. Campbell loses the handle on it though. Gets it back to Webster. Webster to Lodge. Lodge looking for the one-timer. And he hits the post. Puck collected by Nick Cleland. He flips it nicely down the ice. Chase McCann shoots it forward. Collected by Pundler. Pundler drops it for Campbell and they resort. But his pass to Agaev in his skates. Agaev coughs it up to Labrie. Labrie killing some time as he circles back. Fires it back down low and comes off for a change. Good job by Josh Labrie on the PK. Matty Johnson down there now against Pundler. Looks up front for Josh Anderson. Pops over his stick. Oh! High stick right in the face of Savage by Lodge. Not seen by the referee. Levesque gets the puck, looking for Tanner. Nice body check by Matty Johnson, and the puck pops directly loose to the other side. Pundler there, Pundler collects, comes in the zone, gets a wrister into the pads of Josh Anderson, and breaking away now. But a big hit put on Lachlan Tripp by Pundler. Pundler, though, looks like he took the worst of that. He put the hit on Tripp, but he's not feeling too well. He's looking like he wants to get on the bench for a change. Cross ice. Cross ice to Elliott. Elliott loses the handle, but Lebec there to pick it up. Fires it wide. Wild slapper. Puck down low. Killing it. Puts it up on the boards to Anderson. Anderson fires it off the boards, into the roof and out. That was a strange play on the far side. Pundler put a good hit on Tripp, but Pundler looks like he took the worst of it. Yeah, he sure does. He's skating off to the bench. Pretty slowly, not looking too great. Hopefully he's all right and he can come back. Just looking at him on the bench, he looks okay. He's going for a bit of a walk. I'd expect he'd come back probably for next shift. Puck drop, down low to killing it. Lodge collects it down low though, plays it to Agaev. Agaev, nice idea to go to Webster out front, but just missed his man. Puck taken by Grover, fired on net, too high. Hits Kilinick in the shoulder. That hurt him a bit. Grover with the puck again. Stop, and Rapchuk on the breakaway. Sliding play by Lodge to knock it off Rapchuk's stick at the last minute. Good play by Queensland, greater play. Killing it collects. Greater play by Eric, by Atlantic Lodge, well done. Puck collected by Lodge at the blue line of Queensland. Has time to have a shot. A CI shot by Yannick Lodge. Goes into the net. Wow. That was quite the turn of events, wasn't it, Ivan? Lodge just poking it off rep truck stick on that breakaway and then coming down, WA getting possession in the Queensland end and just firing one in through the legs of Naylor. Big shift by Lodge on that one. Big defensive play at one end. Seeing eye, Rister at the other end. Yeah, it seemed like Naylor couldn't really see his way through all the traffic on that one. All knotted up at two here with eight minutes left in the third period. Shots 25 for Queensland, 19 for WA. Puck drifted towards the net by Nick Jones, held by McCann for the whistle. Shots 26 to 19 now to Queensland. Score evened up at 2-2. Rister on net by Magiscan, held nicely by McCann as Nickel was dangerously cruising through the cre crease. That one almost got away from him, bouncing off his glove, but then he was able to recover and catch it out of the air. Well done by McCann.
Hundler, D to D to Rothwell. Rothwell forward to Hillier. Hillier not able to collect it, but Elliott able to get it, come in the garbage and comes forward. Nice play by Hodgson. Oh, but he shoots it right into the middle of the ice, right on the stick of Scott Hillier. Hillier dumps it forward into the side for DeGraff. DeGraff slaps her down low. The only one there, though, is Queenslander Hodgson, who turns and skates away with it. Queensland stepping over themselves here. All five players in the small, about five meters of the ice. Not sure what to do with it. Hodgson now looks to skate forward with it. Bit more spread of the ice here. Pass forward to Josh Anderson, but he loses control as he comes across the blue line. Puck ends up in his stomach, though, and he battles along the boards. Nice job by Tanner to get that puck and win it back. Anderson, though, wheels, turns and collects the puck. Has a shot, wrister through, it, through the legs of Jamie Campbell. Anderson, however, decides to crash the net well after the whistle, and I'm guessing Anderson's going to be the one ending up with the penalty. Yeah, that gets dangerous when you go pushing guys into the net like that. He should be going to the box for that one. Not sure if that'll be just a two or maybe something more. Eight oh two left in the third period. Still tied up at two to two. Josh Anderson going to the box. That's a tough play. You just wheeled into the zone. The goalie's got it. Crashing the net like that had only one outcome, and it's occurred. Anderson in the box for two minutes or less. Queensland on the penalty kill. Referees all sorted. Labrie and Higgins on the penalty kill up front for Queensland. Puck to Webster, Webster fires it on, seen all the way by Naylor, sorry, Grover, seen all the way by Naylor, and breaking forth is Josh Labrie. Josh Labrie does a nice job of stealing the puck, but Webster and Grover, both of them, combine to take it off him. Grover skates forward, he's got control of the puck as he crosses the red line. Loses it though as he crosses the blue line and it's fired back out by Sean Savage. Puck head to Lodge. Lodge drifts it forward to Campbell. Campbell on the side wall. Campbell back to Lodge. Lodge playing the quarterback job right now. Lodge back down to Campbell. Campbell to Lodge. Lodge takes a wrister on net wide, hoping for a tip, but no one there. Only one there is Gobil. He, he seals it, seals the wall off. We got a battle down there now. Savage, Campbell. Lodge, and the referee sees a bit of fisticuffs flying and decides to whistle it down to keep everyone calm. Both teams getting a bit worked up on the boards there after that one. Seven minutes and eight seconds to go left in the period. One minute and seven seconds left to go in the WA power play. Jamie Campbell's lost his glove over the other side of the netting. Oh, he's got it back now. Seems to be having a chat with the Queensland bench. They're just saying hello, wondering how each other's doing. Maybe grab a coffee after the game. Puck to Webster. Webster, great shot on the net. Nice save by Ben Naylor. Battle down low. Lad Lodge versus Hodgson. Agayev joins. Puck ends up on the stick of Marco Vertoza, who shoots it into the neutral zone. Seb Goville goes forward after it. Webster gets the puck, finds Agayev on the other side. Agayev enters the zone and gains possession. He's going to cruise down onto the side wall. He looks back at the point. Grover's there, across to Webster. Webster collects down to Lodge, bounces over his stick, though. Lodge back to Webster. Puck across ice to Grover. Grover has the puck. Drifting back, looking now to Agayev down low. Puck, oh, out in front, just about off. Jamie Campbell skate into the net. Campbell wide open in front, nobody marking him. And Ben Naylor takes no chances and dives on the puck. Yeah, Naylor coming out of the crease to cover that one. Probably pretty lucky that he didn't get called with a delay game penalty as the new rules say that 
Can't really come out of the crease all the way to cover the puck. I was thinking the same thing, Patrick. Luckily, I have a goalie here to set, settle me out and tell me what the true rules are. Six minutes left in the game. Pundler with the wrister on net. Puck shot towards him, but Pundler gets it right back. Still on the penalty for four more seconds. Puck pops. Nope, Pundler's able to do a good job of saving it. Gets it to Rothwell. Nice job by Anderson. Anderson pushes it by Rothwell and speeds forward. Anderson cuts in on the goal. Just couldn't finish. Had the goalie at his mercy. Kilinick gets the puck, drops it towards the net, and McCann settles it all down by holding it tight. 5.46 left in the game. 27-22 shots for Queensland. Two goals apiece. All the players out of the penalty box, including Brett Jolly, who has just served his 10-minute misconduct. And we're back to all teams at full strength. Wrap Chuck down in the corner against Pundler. Puck saved there, and it's put back down on Wrap Chuck's stick. Pundler throws Wrap Chuck into the boards. Nothing called by the referee, and the puck goes forward, covered again by Ben Naylor. WA, this late in the period, well, in the mid this middle of this period seemed to be getting back on top of it a little bit after a second period largely dominated by Queensland. Draw one by Webster, but the only one there to collect it was Ben Nickel and Santilli. They go over, they go offside, they recollect at the blue line. Jamie Campbell finds Webster in the zone, looks for Agaev. Agaev circles through the neutral zone, finds Grover on the far side. They're looking for Webster as he cruises into the slot. The puck just bounces over his stick. Ben Spillane collects the puck, puts it on the wall for Santilli. Santilli not able to get it out. Ben Spillane in the slot, though, able is to find his man up high, and that's Ben Nickel. Nickel falls, though. Puck on the stick of Santilli. Santilli in the corner against Rothwell. Santilli down low to Nickel. Nickel finding Grover. Grover to Santilli. Santilli couldn't get a handle on the puck. Ivan Agayev circles up. Finds Lodge. Lodge versus Magiscan. Magiscan says, don't think so. Slaps it back into the neutral zone. Sean Savage with the puck on his stick. Cross ice to Higgins. Higgins takes a touch. Plays it forward to Jones. Jones enters the zone. Puts a move on Pundler. Pundler says no. And we're going to have a penalty, I think, again against Josh Anderson as he inexplicably dove on top of the goalie. Yeah, I think he just blew a tire on the way in there and couldn't get himself out of the way. Really got to try and avoid that, though. That's oh. going to come back and hurt him. Oh. We actually got a penalty against like, WA. Yeah, Webster going to the box for WA. I think we might be going. So we got Kieran Webster, number 12, Kieran Webster for WA, penalty for roughing, and we got number 17, Josh Anderson for Queensland, penalty for goaltender interference. Looks like they'll be playing four on four after this one. Open up a bit of space on the ice, we'll see if either two teams can create anything from this. Anderson and Barnes. Elliot and Tanner. McCann dives on the puck as it's one straight back into him off the draw. Getting a bit contorted there on that one, having to reach across his body to cover it. McCann's Four. had a pretty good game, Patrick. Yeah, I agree with you there. 4.48 left in the third period. Just 2-2. Two to two. Puck shot down low by Barnes. Barnes battling Pundler. Two big bodies going at it. Pundler comes out with it, gets it up on the boards to Tanner. Tanner fires it forward, finds Elliott in the neutral zone. Elliott circles back with it and wheels with it. Elliott sends it to Rothwell. Rothwell to Pundler, going the wrong way though. Pundler only able to redirect it into the zone. Savage not able to clear it completely. Puck to Tanner. Savage regains form and blocks that shot by Tanner. Knocked out of the zone by Anderson. Pundler there to block it. 
and send it back to his teammate Tanner. Tanner gains the zone. Just the backhand towards the goal. Elliott trying to collect it on the other side. Wow, nice idea by Elliott. Naylor not caught sleeping on that, however, and he saw it at the last minute. Savage fires it up to Magiscan, but a little bit too far. Campbell, again, looks like the D trying to give the puck away here on both teams. Campbell now finds his man in Ivan Agaev, who sees Grover coming through the zone. Grover drives wide on Kilinick, throws it out in front off Kilinick's skate, and covered by Naylor. That was a close one there, going off right off the edge of the pad of Naylor and popping out in front of him for him to cover it. 2-2, two, two, three minutes and 38 seconds left in the game and 48 seconds left in the penalties. Agaev took a little bit of a knock from one of the Queensland sticks as he drove in the zone there and he's feeling that a little bit. They were just tapping him to say hello, I think, as he skated by. Puck in the corner with Kilinek. Kilinek moves around Agaev. Agaev battling hard, though, to try and regain position, position and possession. Agaev and Kilinek, and Kilinek comes up with it. Finds Rapchuk. Rapchuk skates forward with some speed. Higgins driving the net. Rapchuk loses the handle. Plays it down low to Higgins, though. Higgins battling against Agaev. He has it nicely. Searching out in front. They both have lost the handle. Now Higgins lost the handle on it. And Campbell able to slap it forward for Lodge. Lodge just dumps it in on Naylor. Naylor frees it up, though, for, for Tripp. Tripp finds Higgins. Higgins shoots it into the zone to Rapchuk. Bounces, though, to Pundler, who fires it straight up the ice to Lodge. Whoa! Thomas Kilinick attempted to separate Yannick Lodge from his um, body. Uh, only in succeeded in doing so from the stick. Webster gets the puck behind the net. Nice job by Josh Anderson, working hard now that he's out of the box. And a diving Rothwell and Tanner not able to save it from going all the way down the ice. This will not be icing, however. Tanner back to get it. Pressured hard by Ben Nickel, who does a good job. Ta Tanner, however, gets it forward to Lebec. Lebec's touch a little heavy, and he's not able to collect it. Campbell. Webster across the line. Webster down low to Tanner. Tanner up front. Lebec was there by himself. And the buck bounced on net. Wide open in the crease. Tanner not able to get his body on it. Puck wristed on net by Campbell. And ben Spillane looking forward for it. Finds Nick Jones. He finds Ben Nickel. Nickel to Jones down low. Jones didn't see it, but he collects it in the corner. Jones feeds Nickel down low. Santilli is wide open in front, not able to get the puck on his stick. Santilli fires it back down low, collected on the other side by Ben Nickel. Ben Nickel to Nick Jones. Nick Jones circles, and the puck stops in front. A nice defensive play by Pundler as that puck came out from behind the net. Lebec collects, tries to feed his defense, his forward mate, his forward mate James Elliott, but it's collected by Hodgson. Hodgson dumps it up to Nickel. But we have an offside call. Yeah, it looks like Ben Nickel was just over the blue line there as the puck was took, took its time getting across. And the ref had his hand up from when he crossed over. Face off just outside the WA zone. Timeout called by Western Australia. And uh, with not, not too long left in the third period. Still tied up at 2-2. I believe 121 to go just before they put the timeout clock up. Clock up. The score we have is 2-all. WA and Queensland looking to get their best five on the ice, no doubt, here for the last minute. Yeah. Both teams, I think Queensland would be happy to keep this, to keep it out of the net after facing a lot of pressure this period from WA, and WA really trying to put one in on Naylor. So we got Hodgson, Savage on D for Queensland, Barnes, Anderson, and Rapchuk for W for up front. WA, we got Webster, Agaev, and Lodge up front with Grover and Pundler on defense. 112 left in the third period.
Pumner gets the puck, dumps it into the neutral zone. Webster collects, carries it across center. No pressure, so he drops it to Agayev. Agayev gets a shot on net, drifted aside by Ben Naylor. Lodge collects it, though. Lodge directed into the boards by Sean Savage. Collecting the puck down low, Anthony Barnes. Barnes meets Agayev on the side wall. Webster fighting for the puck there with Hodgson. The only one to come through, though, is... is Rapchuk got the puck, looking for Barnes, not able to find him, though. Puck dumped into the wall there. 36 seconds left. Agayev has the, the puck on his stick, but his stick's upside down. So by the time he gets it right, the only one left to collect it is Webster. Webster somehow comes out with that. Skating forward, Barnes. Barnes to Anderson. Anderson going wide, as he, and a nice shot on net. McCann more than up to the task. Webster collects the puck with 15 seconds left. Kept in the zone by Rapchuk, on the net to McCann, and the puck there. Alistair Pundler and Anthony Barnes saying hello to each other in front of the net. Looks like Barnes will be getting two minutes early. Well, 10 seconds for roughing on that one, as we only have 10 seconds left in the game. That's a strange call by the ref. Two big bodies pushing each other and one guy goes down. That's a very strange call, but that's the way the refing's been this game. All tied up at 2-2, 10 seconds left in the game. If we don't see a goal from either team here on the WA power play, then we'll be going to shootout. That'll probably do it as a nice face-off win by Josh Anderson. Flicks it down the ice, four seconds, three seconds, and that'll do her. Boy, what a game. WA, second period, I thought they were dead. Came back in the third to really play well. Yeah, that's for sure, Ivan. Um, I noticed through in the third period, we didn't see any of Ben Speedy. No, I agree with you, actually, Patrick. He took the bump on the knee. No damage done to the internal part of the knee, I'm sure, but it hurt, it hurt enough that he's not able to come out to play the game. He is on the bench, cheering yeah. the boys on, in full gear. So, double IHF rules. Three shooters have to be different. And after that, once we get going, if we get past that, anyone can shoot. One player can shoot repeatedly over and over if they want. Yeah, that's, that's right. And um, both goalies been playing really well this whole game. Both got a good save percentage. And uh, hopefully they'll both want to keep the puck out of the net as much as they can, win it for their team. WA might want to fly Riley Langell out for this one, Patrick. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. They might have been keeping him secretly on the bench this whole time, just in case of the situation. He's probably in someone's pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Queensland's won the coin toss, and they've chosen to shoot first. So McCann will be in the net, and it looks like Harley Anderson taking the shot. Every fan's favorite play, the shootout, and every coach's least favorite play, the shootout. Yes. Anderson versus McCann. First shot of the shootout. Nice play by Anderson. In with speed, pulled the goalie down, fired it far top shelf. Nice little delay there on the stick, pulled the goalie, got him to come a little, come across a little further than he would have liked, and opened up the left corner for him. First shooter for WA. Yannick Lodge, Lodge versus Naylor. Nice move by Lodge, but he, by the time he made his move, he was about 30 centimeters further than he wanted to be. And when he tried to slide it by Ben Naylor, all yeah. he could slide it into was the side of the net. He had Naylor beat, he just didn't have the space to put it on net, put it in the net. Nick Jones, second shooter for Queensland. Yeah. 
Jones shooting all the way. And McCann knew it and able to come out and challenge him and take away any space for the shot. Yeah, McCann did well there to read that one. It was, I think he knew the whole time what Jones was planned for. Up Captain. now we got Kieran Webster against for the second shooter for WA. Oh. Webster looked good going in, but again, lost the handle a little bit. Yeah, he didn't get much of the puck on that one. Not Probably too happy as he goes to the bench, with yeah. himself, that is. Yes. Now we've got Anthony, Anthony Santilli. Santilli shooting for Queensland. He's got to score this one to win, to win the shootout and take home the game. Santilli looking to go high glove side, but McCann had it covered the whole way. He sure did. Now it looks like we've got Ivan Agea from Western Australia shooting on Ben Naylor. So Agaev has to score to keep this alive, or Queensland's going home with the win. Agaev. Agaev lost the handle again. Actually, that was all three WA, WA shooters. Kind of lost the handle as they were going in and didn't get their best shots off. Yeah. Ben Naylor was there for it, but I think all three shooters won't be happy with their performance on that shootout. No. And or maybe not happy with the ice, I should say, Patrick. <laughs> yeah, coming from Perth, they're probably used to a much harder <laughs> surface. A very close, good, exciting game, though. Both teams playing really well throughout. Pretty even in the first period, looking Queensland in the second, and then WA the third. Ended up in a shootout after 2-2, Queensland going home with the W on that one. Interesting that the vast majority of games at this tournament so far have been well fought, nice close games. I think that tomorrow when the top four go into this, it's going to be a real battle to see who comes out. Yes. This win here by Queensland, but it's a win in a shootout, really throws the whole standings into a bit of disarray. And uh, we'll have to see what the actual outcome is of the games tonight before any judgment can be made about the way this whole thing's going to sort itself out. If I'm not mistaken, that should solidify Victoria in first place, uh, Queensland in second, and then New South Wales will be playing South Australia tonight. And if South Australia can come away with a regulation win, then they'll be into the final, the final four. All New South Wales need to do is win the game in regulation or take it to a shootout, and then they'll make it in. Sounds good, Patrick. I'll trust you on all of those suggestions. That's why I flunked out of math in school. Congratulations to both teams. That was a very well-played, hard-fought, fast game. Enjoyable to watch, enjoyable yes. to call. Yeah. That was definitely one of the, the closer, faster games of the tournament. And uh, I, I'd say both, both goaltenders had a really good game. And uh, who did you think from both teams played really well this game? Well, look, I'm just looking at the WA group. And I thought that Jordan Grover, number three on defense, was everywhere on the ice, as well as number 39, Scott Hillier. He's a hard-working forward, and every time he got on the ice, he made it known to the defense on the other team. I thought those two guys from WA really played extremely hard. And yeah. of course, I gotta give Mark McCann from WA a bit of a nod. Yes. I think if he wasn't in the pipes, between the pipes, things would have been, could have been much different. Yes. How about Queensland? Well, I agree with you on WA, and um, I'd, I'd just like to add one thing, and yeah, that's yeah, that uh, I thought Ivan, Ivan Agaev had a really good game as well at center, creating a lot of chances and controlling the puck really well. He was really good. He was the second best hockey playing Ivan in the building tonight. <laughs> All right, if you say so. And then uh, I thought from Queensland, um, Anthony Barnes had a really good game up, up front. Yeah, Get, I thought Barnes played pretty good as well. Yeah, lots of good zone entries, battling in front of the net. and. Um, what did you think about Queensland? 
Um, look, at the back end, I thought the guy who saw a lot of ice time um, and was always seemed to be on in penalties and power plays, Sean Savage, played pretty good for Queensland from the back end. Um, and up front, I actually think killing penalties is, you don't get a lot of, um, a lot of kudos killing penalties, but Josh Labrie did a very good job, I thought. Uh, he was on for every penalty kill and did a lot of work down low as well. Yes, so he those was. Those three he guys was. played very well. I thought Labrie, um, the combination of Labrie and Gobil out there on a penalty kill was, was pretty good. Yeah. So. And you can't forget Ben Nickel. Never forget Ben Nickel. He small was but mighty. Small and fast. He was all over the ice all game, just causing havoc in the, in the WA defensive lines. All right, folks, I'll say goodbye on yeah. that. But we'll see everyone again this afternoon at 545. New South Wales plays South Australia. Big game for both teams, as Patrick mentioned. A win by SA puts them in. A win by New South Wales puts them in. So the winner-take-all game this afternoon, New South Wales versus South Australia. Yes.